What's up YouTube? So, I had a couple people ask me how I mount my GoPro. And uh, I guess everybody's got a video these days on how to mount your GoPro, but uh, this is how I do it. It's pretty inexpensive. Uh, I use the waterproof housing that came with the GoPro 3. Uh, mine is the GoPro 3. Uh, the first version, not the GoPro 3 Hero 3 Plus. It's just a regular Hero 3 Black. Uh, this screw right here I bought off Amazon. It was about six or seven bucks. And uh, the waterproof case came with the GoPro, like I said. Uh, this is the tripod mount up underneath here. This plastic piece has a quarter inch female thread on the other side. So in between is this plastic piece. It's actually part of my helmet's visor. Yours might not have that, but right in the center of my visor happens to be this little plastic piece. And you can see where the threads go through there. This is a quarter inch D-ring screw, and you can get these off Amazon for about five or six bucks as well. So the whole setup, fairly inexpensive. If you have the waterproof housing already, uh, you could skip the aluminum screw and just get the tripod mount with the D-ring. You'd be looking at about 15 or 20 bucks. I think I saw these tripod mounts for about 10 bucks at Best Buy. Save yourself a few bucks if you order it off Amazon. The D-ring screw, you could probably go down and buy at any hardware store. Or, like on this helmet, I just used a regular quarter inch screw with some washers to take up the slack. And the standard plastic screw that comes with the GoPro. And another one of those tripod mounts that you can just thread with the female quarter inch screw. The D-ring does make it nicer because you can adjust the tightness of that while you're riding as opposed to this one right here where you need a screwdriver to kind of tighten it down. A couple other things, I use the Wasabi batteries. You get a charger, one charger, and two batteries, but I've purchased two different chargers and two different sets of batteries because I've lost a couple on the trails my little adventures so just some tips for you guys if you're looking to start recording your rides that's how I do it I carry about three or four batteries I, I plan on about a battery an hour I shoot in 1080 at 60 frames per second this is the micro SD card that I run on my GoPro Hero 3 it's a 64 gigabyte SanDisk Ultra class 10 I got it from Amazon.com for about 50 or $60. It will record about four and a half hours of footage at uh, 1080p, 60 frames per second. Hope you guys enjoy watching the videos. Many more to come.